You drop a penny from the roof of the Empire State Building, 443 meters tall. How long until it lands on the ground below, and how fast is the penny moving when it lands? Tackle these one at a time. We'll begin with a diagram of the situation. Here's the building. This is the height. And here's penny dropper on the top, and here's the penny. Notice the penny is going through a negative displacement. What information is given in this problem? Well, we definitely have a delta y. Sorry, folks, that is crazy messy. Well, we have a uh, delta y. It's negative. There aren't any other obvious givens in this problem. However, remember we know the acceleration of gravity. We also know the initial velocity. The penny is dropped implies a zero initial velocity. If the penny had been thrown, we would have been given some information about that. Let's start with part A. How long until it lands on the ground below? Look over your vertical motion kinematics equations. We'd like to find time. The most suitable equation for that is Now one beautiful thing about this equation is that the initial velocity being zero makes that entire term go away. So when we solve the equation for time, I start with uh, delta y. I can multiply both sides of the equation by 2, divide both sides by a, and finally take the square root of both sides so that t is the square root. Substituting in values, 2 times um, the height, 443. Oh, but wait, that's a negative distance. And the acceleration. I'll leave it to you to crunch that out on a calculator. I think the answer is somewhere on the order of uh, 9 and a half seconds. All right, so part A, how long until the penny lands on the ground? It's more than 9 seconds. Let's now erase what we have here. And we're going to back up and answer the second half of the question, how fast when it lands. Okay, the unknown there, final velocity. So let's observe our equations. Honestly, at this point, because we know the time, any equation would work. I'm going to choose this equation, though. And I'm trying to solve for Vf. So, take the square root of both sides. Um, we do the square root here. VI squared plus 2A delta Y. Initial velocity is zero. Acceleration. And the change in position So I'll leave it to you to work out the calculations on that. I actually don't know the correct answer here, but the final velocity is the solution to that equation. 